the president uh, with his latest spin on Russia interfering in the U.S. election. Uh, tweeting this just a little while ago, uh, I'm quoting him now. I'm very concerned that Russia will be fighting very hard to have an impact on the upcoming election uh, based on the fact that no president has been tougher on Russia than me. They will be pushing very hard for the Democrats. They definitely don't want Trump, close quote. Uh, that's simply uh, clearly not true. The U.S. intelligence community has concluded that uh, the Russian leader Putin was trying to help Donald Trump um, when he meddled in the 2016 election, something the Senate Intelligence Committee uh, on a bipartisan basis recently backed up. If, if that's not enough, you can hear it straight from the source. We're talking about the Russian President Vladimir Putin, uh, who specifically said in Helsinki at that joint news conference with the president that he wanted Donald Trump to beat Hillary in the election. Hillary Clinton, listen to this. President Putin, did you want President Trump to win the election, and did you direct any of your officials to help him do that? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Because he talked about bringing the U.S.-Russia relationship back to normal. All right, uh, Senator Mike Rounds is uh, joining us right now. He's a Republican from South Dakota. He's a key member of the Senate Armed Services Committee. Senator, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate the opportunity, Wolf. So what do you think of the president's claim this morning in that tweet that the Russians are going to be working very hard in the midterm elections in November to help Democrats get elected and, and make sure that Republicans like you, I don't know if you're even up for re-election this time, but make sure Republicans lose? Well, I, I think what will happen is that they'll try to create chaos in the election if they can. That's what they were trying to do in 2016. Uh, they thought that Hillary would win. And uh, when they saw an opportunity to help Mr. Trump, they took advantage of that. Uh, but what they really wanted to do was cause chaos. And uh, well, I think in 2018, I think they'll try to do exactly the same thing again. It's what they're doing in Western Europe today. And I don't think that they're going to change until we actually have the ability to uh, send a very powerful message that it's simply not acceptable and that there's a price to be paid. Well, you're, you're right. Uh, one of the goals of the Russians, according to the U.S. intelligence community, the Obama intelligence community, and the Trump uh, intelligence community, is to sow discord, to, sow, to create chaos in the American political system. But it didn't stop there. As well as the, the Senate Intelligence Committee, Republicans and Democrats, they also concluded that the Russians not only wanted to sow discord, but they also wanted to make sure that Hillary Clinton lost and finally that Donald Trump won. That was their goal. Uh, do you accept that that was the goal of the Russians, according to the U.S. intelligence community? I, I think the most recent reports that, that I could discuss that have been unclassified would suggest that they were not happy with uh, Secretary of State uh, Clinton's activities and what they felt was uh, her interjection in Mr. Putin's last, if you want to call it, his last election. And uh, he never forgot that. And, and I think uh, that's a large part of it. I think there was a significant amount of animosity between Mr. Putin and the uh, former Secretary of State. I think that played into the election process as well. Yeah, clearly they didn't like Hillary Clinton. They didn't like the Obama administration. And as you heard Putin himself say, that's why he preferred and he worked to try to help Donald Trump win the election. Uh, do you think there's any evidence, have you seen any evidence at all, Senator, that the Russians right now are working to help Democrats, forget about sowing discord or chaos, but to help Democrats win the midterm contest? Uh, it, uh, the most recent reports that we've had have simply been that they'll do everything they can to undermine the confidence in the election process. They do not like democracy. They do not like free elections. They don't like it when the United States has confidence in the outcomes of elections. So what you'll see them do is sow seeds of disbelief. They'll work their propaganda and they're not just doing it the way they used to do it, which is through newspaper ads and TV ads, commercials and so forth. They're using it through social media now. But then they're doing one more thing. They're also trying to suggest, and they will do everything they can to reinforce, that they might be influencing the actual counting within the election process. They'd like us to believe that they might be able to impact uh, certain areas around the United States where the votes are being tallied. And it wouldn't take a whole lot of those different locations where they could it just suggest like yep. that we have uh, uh, the wrong right. numbers being added up, that they would then be successful in their move to give less confidence to us that our system is true and honest 
in its accounting systems. So how do you explain the president being so nice to Putin when they met at Helsinki uh, and saying all those positive things about Russia and Pompeo, Mike Pompeo, uh, the secretary of state just a few moments ago saying that it was a great meeting and they've agreed to uh, work together to create a joint U.S.-Russia business council to even improve relations, uh, even as you suggest and others suggest the Russians are seeking to undermine U.S. democracy. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to say that I agree with the president's tactic in this particular case, but I think what he was trying to do was to get past the issue. I, I think what he wanted to do was say, look, we basically have 90 percent of all the nuclear weapons in the world today. We have to have a working relationship. So if you're going to tell me that you didn't argue, and I'm not, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to stand here and argue with you and have a he said, she said. I think he wanted to get past that, and I think that may have surprised Mr. Putin a little bit. Uh, but at the same time, I'm not sure that that was necessarily the correct tactic to, to use. Clearly, Mr. Putin was very actively involved in the elections. Uh, clearly, they have not stopped, and most certainly, they'll be trying to impact the 2018s as well. So, uh, yeah, we've got to have a relationship in terms of communications, but you've also got to have some sense of trust in those communications. And right now, I don't think we can trust anything that the Russian government is telling us. I don't think we can trust anything that they're trying to share on social media. I think whatever they can do to sow distrust in the United States, okay. they will. And we have to take that all into account as we try to establish this relationship with, a, with a, a, another nuclear power in the world. Yeah, and uh, the Russians are succeeding pretty impressively in those goals uh, so far. Let's see what happens down the road. Uh, Mike Rons, uh, Senator Rons, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, sir.